apologize for just dropping by like this, but I was on my way to the chateau and I thought maybe you'd like to join me for dinner. Oh, well, thank you for thinking of me, but I can't. Wonderful. What's what? Do you got other plans or something? No, actually, I don't, and I would love to have dinner with you, but I don't dare. I beg your pardon? Well, you see, I'm planning on reconciling with Palmer, and uh, because of that, I don't think I should be seen having dinner with the likes of you. Well, well I see what you mean. Uh, is Palmer receptive to this reconciliation? He will be. Why are you so sure of yourself, Cynthia? What, what are you up to? I'd rather not talk about it just yet, Adam, but I will tell you that since I saw you in New York, the situation has changed considerably. No. No. I hate you. I hate you. I'll kill you, Zach! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, shut up. Hey, hey. Oh. you're trembling, sweetheart. Man, I was having this awful dream. Do you want to tell me about it? Um, I, I, I can't remember it. Are you sure? I was just scared. Real scared. Hey, there's nothing to be afraid of now. I'm here. It's okay. It's all over. All right? It seems so real, Benny. Yeah. Hey, you know, you you were starting to say something when, when I walked... Hold walk... me. Just hold me, please. Sure, I'd love to. Andrew, I'd like to talk to you for a second. Okay, um, listen, Foster wants to get this table cleared, and then I'll be right with you. That's okay, you can continue. What I have to say to you is I suppose you realize that I'm not too crazy about the idea of you working here. Am I fired? No, you're not fired. Ellen hired you, and I'm not going to go against her. Look, Mr. Chandler, I need this job. I didn't have anything to do with what my mother did to you. Yeah, that's fair enough, excepting you lied. You went around telling everybody that you were my son. I resent that. I apologize to Mr. Corbin. I should apologize to you. I'm sorry. I need this job. I'll stay out of your way. You do that. So, how are we doing? Oh, everything's fine, thanks. You here alone? No, Cliff is here with me. He's making a phone call. Ross. Oh. We meet again. Yeah, twice in one day. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Mark. Is he here? Yeah, he just called. He'll be a little late. Erica, why don't you sit down and join us? No, thank you. I really want to see Mark, but I just can't wait that long. I'm sure he'll be by very soon. Please, won't you sit down? I don't mean to be rude, Brooke, but I can't possibly seem to forget that Mike died helping you. I can't forget it either. Well, then I'm sure you'll understand why I'm not comfortable with you. I'm sorry. Look, you wrote a beautiful tribute to Mike. My mother showed it to me. I'm very grateful for that. But I can't begin to make up for the loss of Mike. I understand that. I just wish that maybe sometime in the future. Look, just leave it at this, all right? Leave it alone. Is Ellen here? Yes, she's in the office. Great. I'll go and visit her. She'll get over it. I'm not so sure. I can understand how she feels. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to make up for Mike's death. Eric! Oh, Erica, welcome home. You look wonderful as always. Come in, please. Well, thank you. Well, I'm keeping busy. Yes. <laughs> thank goodness. Business is a blessing, isn't it? Yes, Ross tells me that you're separated. Yes, that's right. Ellen, don't you think that you could maybe put your... Erica. Erica, please, don't, don't start on me now, okay? 
Ellen, I can't possibly just stand by and, and see you throw away what you have. It is so rare. Ross loves you. Yes. Yes, he does. He says he does. And you love him, don't you? Why, yes, I do, Erica, but... You see, I don't trust him right now, and it's going to take me time to get that time, trust back. Time, Ellen, time. Time is the most precious thing in the world. Nobody knows that better than I. I mean, just when things were starting to fall in place for Mike and me, without warning, he was gone. Erica, I just don't think that you can compare the two relationships. You and Mike respected the trust between the two of you. He didn't cheat on you. Ellen, just don't let the separation drag on too long. I mean, especially if it's just pride that's standing in your way. If you do, you might live to regret it. Palmer's been out in his room for some time now. It's not good for him to be up there alone and brooding. Maybe you could go up and see if there's something he wants before dinner. Good idea. Be back in a moment. Good evening, Mrs. Sloan. I'm here to see my husband. Mr. Cortland has retired for the night. <laughs> At this hour, you've got to be kidding. I do not kid. Is he sick? He's as well as can be expected. He has retired, and he does not want to be disturbed. Well, I have something of utmost importance to discuss with him. Please tell him that I'm here. No, I will not. I'm sure it can wait until morning. Mrs. Sloan, need I remind you that Palmer is still my husband? I feel confident that he will want to speak to me tonight. I can't see any reason why he would want to speak to you. Then I'll give you a reason. I'm pregnant. Please tell him I'm waiting. How's the big magazine tycoon? Couldn't be better, thank you. Where's Tom? Uh, he took the rest of the night off. He what? Yeah, he had something to go to and he asked me to take over. Why? The problem? Yes, it certainly is a problem. We made an appointment yesterday to meet here to discuss a business matter. Well, I don't know what to tell you. He didn't tell me anything. Oh, terrific. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Erica. Is he dating someone? <laughs> Not that I know of. You know, something probably came up and he couldn't get in touch with you. Oh, stop it. Don't make excuses for him. Obviously, he's drinking again. Would you mind repeating that? I said I'm pregnant with Palmer's child. That's what I thought you said. I don't think it's funny. No, pregnancy is not often funny. Then why is there a smirk on your face? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was smirking. Would you please tell Palmer that it's imperative I speak with him? Yes, I'm... I'm sure it is. Is your amusement supposed to be indicating that I'm not really pregnant? Because you're wrong. I am pregnant, Mrs. Sloan. I'm sure that you're sure you're pregnant, Cynthia. Mrs. Cortland, to you. And as you are a servant in this house, I demand that you do as I say immediately. I am not your servant, Cynthia. But since I know Palmer will be interested in your condition, I will go and tell him. <laughs> 